The big change this year is, is our field club area, where we're able to, it's one of our, our best clubs. It opens right out onto the field. Um, we had to close that, unfortunately, last year due to the distancing, due to the players' health and safety. Um, this year, we're going to be able to open that up in a, about a 50% capacity, so it's going to give all these fans that come to that area a great opportunity to sit down by the field, to, to be down by the field, to uh, be in the bar and, and mingle. Um, the big change there is that they're all getting tested, so we're going to provide complimentary testing on site for anybody with those tickets, uh, which will allow them to come out and be within that proximity of the players in the field. Um, everybody else will get temperature scanned as they come in, um, but all the rest of the fans, that, that'll be the only measure that they go through from a health and safety standpoint. There's no longer a, a six-foot mandate. Um, it's now just distance is how it was worded um, by local and state governments, so it's probably going to be closer to a three-foot uh, distance in some areas. So it allowed us to open up a little more while still maintaining you know, safety and, and health and all those things. We're very, very optimistic that we'll be able to, to include more fans as the season progresses. And there were a lot of um, minor upgrades this offseason. A lot of the major upgrades actually happened before last season, which a lot of our fans haven't had the opportunity to see. So to them, it will be very new, such as our concessions. We did a whole new concession refresh with a lot of new food and, and things that are really local here to Kansas City. So we're excited for the fans to experience that. Um, this offseason, it was more just upkeep and getting things back to, to where they were last year. Ford and KC and the Victory Project have added elements to the stadium to make it the most inclusive stadium in the world. Uh, that's something that, I'm, that is very close to my heart. I have a special needs child myself, um, and I love that we have the opportunity here to, to provide access um, to all people. And, you know, some of the new things we brought in last year, we already had sensory bags, which uh, include a blanket and headphones and things like that to help to help people that have sensory issues. Um, this year we have adult changing tables, um, which is large because there really wasn't an option for, for people that needed that prior to this. Um, and we have a sensory room they can go down to and just kind of take a time out. Um, there's all kinds of fidget toys in there and things like that that they can play with. And um, it, it combines to provide, I think, a very inclusive experience, which, which was the goal.